Ready to fight. Ready. Well, this was a fight that just had to happen, as trite as that may sound. Corey Sanhagen versus Sean O'Malley. Some stylistic similarities in both fighters smack dab in the middle of their fighting prime. Yeah, right in the middle of their prime. And Sean O'Malley and Corey Sanhagen may be the only two fighters in his division to match each other's stats in terms of their physical attributes. Right. They're both tall. They're both long. They're both lean, and they both are very creative in their striking approach. This is one of the best matchups you can make at Bantamweight, and I'm excited to see it take place tonight inside the octagon. Oh, big elbow. from the top here by Sanhagen. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, Malley getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Sandy. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Oh, beautiful elbows there. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Sandhagen. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Sandhagen grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh. That was a slick transition. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Grounding and pounding away. Nice strikes to the body there by Sandy. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner after that round. O'Malley's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. Well, I'm going to stop the fight. Gotta keep your hands up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round underway. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, hard to imagine we would get this late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single with a connection. Ryan there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Elbows, oh! Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Oh, Mally's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. 
continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, big left. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice block. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice counter left there. Makes the body there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. The clinch work. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to... Oh, another huge strike. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round, DC. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Third it. round underway. relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised.